Good evening. This is Nick from Quicksud.com, and today I have for you a seasonal beer from the Great Lakes Brewing Company. This is Nosferatu, a handcrafted imperial red ale, a subset of the American amber ale family. Uh, this is a, you know, typically these beers are, um, you know, they have a hop bite, but are balanced typically with uh, some nice caramel sweetness. Because this is an imperial ale, I'm expecting it to be uh, even hoppier, a stronger, hoppier bite, hence the name Nosferatu, I'm assuming. In a previous video, I explained that when a beer has been imperialized, it generally means more hops, more malts, and a higher ABV. Uh, the branding is pretty neat. Uh, obviously, Nosferatu, an ode to the 1920s horror film. Who doesn't love that movie with the creepy guy crawling up the, uh, the stairs? Uh, you see his uh, silhouette. Pretty good movie. And on the neck of the beer, uh, it kind of gives you a, a sense of the type of uh, brewery Great, Great Lakes is. Uh, they say... Um, Nosferatu has a bit of a bite and coincidentally named after the legendary vampire. And on the other side it says uh, they give you pros and cons of vampires. The, the vampire pro is they live without lights, so that helps conserve energy. And then the vampire con is that whole sleeping in a coffin thing. So, pretty humorous. Uh, they got a good sense of humor. Uh, this is a seasonal beer, uh, only available really September... Uh, October is my sense, and here we are late November, so uh, has a short shelf life, it only comes around a few times a year, so I'm excited to get into it, and uh, yeah, let's pop it open and see what it's all about. The bottle cap, before I get uh, too uh, involved, is uh, the Great Lakes Brewing Company uh, in round text, and then Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, birthplace of the Miz, who I know everyone probably loves. Uh, Alright, let's pop this open. Um, I'm expecting a nice red amber uh, color, maybe ruby perhaps, but let's see. Okay, so far pouring, uh, pouring like an anchor steam color. Maybe, yeah, definitely a, a bit more ruby-like. I'm getting a whiff of the scent from here. Uh, okay, a little up closer, you definitely get uh, pine, piney hops. But when I was pouring it from afar, I was getting a sweetness to it. But uh, straight out of the bottle, I'm getting maybe a little citrus, a little bit of pine, maybe some orange rind, dare I say. The color is very nice and, and red, uh, a nice red ruby. It's probably not going to film too well, but uh, a nice red amber with a one finger head. It seems to be tan and uh, nice bubbles. Looks uh, foamy and almost smells like a uh, Sierra Nevada torpedo up front with a bit more uh, caramel sweetness up front. Okay, first sip is very smooth. I got a little bit of the head, and then the body of the beer is quite uh, quite smooth, maybe medium, medium to thin beer. Um, I get a little bit of hops uh, up front, and it's balanced, again, really nicely with the caramel. For whatever reason, it's reminding me of a Sierra Nevada uh, IPA. It finishes dry, you taste the caramel, you taste the hops. It's um, maybe more earthy than, than other beers out there. Uh, it's pretty tasty. It's definitely a good fall beer. Great Lakes uh, Brewing Company describes this beer as being highly hopped, but greatly balanced. And I definitely see where they're, where they're coming with that. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty decent beer. It's uh, not necessarily one that I'd run out and actively seek. However, you know, if you see a four-pack for 
maybe pick it up. Just if if nothing else, then just to give yourself a break of all the pumpkin beers you've been drinking in the season. You know, this is an option if if uh, if you're a fan of uh, the original Nosferatu movie. You know, pick it up for an homage to uh, to the big guy. This has been Nick from Quicksud.com. Hope you're enjoying your fall. And uh, if you see a Nosferatu in stores, don't be afraid. Pick it up. Give it a try. It's uh, it, it's reminding me of an IPA, but uh, a little. There's definitely something to it. Maybe a bit more bite, so to speak. Take care.